What is going on, guys? Welcome to another Louisiana episode. Whoa, tripped over that. Got to get my sea legs here. Out here today with Parker. If you guys are just joining this series, Parker's a Louisiana local. Showing me around. Showed, uh, showed me how to catch my first speckled trout the other day. And red and redfish, too. Yeah. And uh, we're having a great time out here. And he invited me to go on his dad's boat here. A little morning of fishing. That is the southern hospitality there, folks. And we have this gorgeous little boat here. A ton of fishing rods. A cooler full of ice and drinks. And I don't know all what we're doing. I'm just along for the ride. So what do we got here on the menu Croker. for these fish? Croaker. Guys, that's where we're using it. Oh, little, uh... These little fish called a croaker, and the reason why they call them croaker is they make this little croaking sound. All right, guys, and this is Mr. Mike. Thank you so much for inviting me on your boat. He was one. He was the one kind enough to take me out on all this, and I'm just all along for the ride. And we're gonna fish. Let's see what happens. Get knocked over the side of the boat is what you were trying to tell me in a real nice way. Watch the waves, in other words. Don't fly over. I just throwing out an anchor. And I guess we'll just run this beach here and throw out an anchor. It's very shallow water. You guys want it clear? Is that the idea? You want it kind of green, okay. Uh, guys, they're looking at the water here and it's just too brown and ugly looking. So we're actually gonna move, we haven't barely cast it in and uh, so we're actually gonna move spots already. Yeah? Yeah, a greener tint to it. So what makes this spot special here? Oh, it's where you caught fish. Just like, how do you decide on this big expanse of beach, like where to fish? Bottom, the way the bottom contour is. Okay. With, with the little sandbar, to fish and get it between those sandbars. So you're just watching the depth finder the whole time for the, the changes. So what kind of rig do we have going on here, Mr. Mike? Oh, uh, this is like what you call a Carolina rig. All right. Just about got it. Got him. Got him? Mm-hmm. Sweet, first fish of the day, guys. How do you know it's cat? I can see the weights. The way it's fighting. Oh, it is cat. Shoot. I got one too. Caught another cat there. Look, the catfish, we swing them over that yellow, the orange bucket back there. Okay. I do. Oh, nice. Look, just hang him right there. Yes, sir. All right, guys, I got a catfish. We got doubles here. Which is, the catfish is useless if you guys are joining us on the Skip Louisiana the net, series. Though. Oh, dude, that's a nice one, man. Dude, nice. You got doubles. I'm just going to swing. swing. Nice. Dude, that is a nice speckled trout. Whoa, whoa. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. I mean, a minute at this new spot. It's that water color. It's that water, yep. Change in water color, that is fantastic. Yellow mouth. Yellow mouth right there. So look at the difference in uh, croakers here. And I noticed that when Parker caught that big one, he was using a bigger croaker. So I'm gonna put this bigger one on here. Got him. Ooh, it's a good one. I think so, because it came to the surface. Yeah, I think it's a trout. Fish number three here. Oh, guys. I got one too. You got one too? <laughs> Give it a net, Mark. Yes. Alright. I'm on that park's fish. This is live action right here. About to pull the rod out of my hand. Uh, now for speckled trout, these are real nice fish, aren't they? Oh yeah. Oh, dude, I almost lost a fish there. <laughs> Woo! Look at those teeth, guys. 
That's gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish, yellow mount. Parker told me about yellow mouth fever last time. Yeah, look at that. Look at that yellow, orangish mouth right in there, guys. That is good. Itty. I'm excited to try them. Guys, that's only like my fifth or sixth speckled trout I've ever caught. Sweet. Let me grab Parker's. They were uh, getting a tangle out up there. Yes. Boom. On that dead croaker. Dude, he got off. He, look, he got off. You scooped him. <laughs> well, I still got mine. He came drop, off and Parker. The boat. Guys, he came off and Parker still scooped him up in the net. Oh, oh man. Right yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Right. Dude, that, that was cool. That <laughs> like, was it well flipped done. off and you're just like, scoop it. Right. Woo! Lift, if you're going to lift it, you got to really lift it and swing it. Okay. Otherwise, get it with the net. I got one. Got him. Oh, it looks like a good one. Okay. Yeah, I think I might be horses, horsing them. If they're soft mouth fish, that's probably my problem. I'm used to bass, just kind of hauling them in. Oh, that's a good one again. Now, I don't know a ton about speckled trout fishing, but I do know just from magazine articles and stuff that these are some good, solid fish here. Yes! Thank you, Parker. Woo! Look at that, guys. That is a nice looking speck right there probably 17 inches or so that's a good one i am having a blast yes all right guys you can check this out see so see that big old croaker right there i'm gonna oh, oh oh almost made his escape i'm gonna put this big one on i think that's one of the biggest ones we got yeah. i'm gonna stick this dude on let's get a monster a monster y'all are great guides so i appreciate that <laughs> You guys could take some, you guys seriously can make money taking people out. Oh, there oh. Parker's on. Sweet. Guys, that's about to eat another drink of this extra sweet tea. Didn't even know Gold Peak made extra sweet tea. That must be a Southern extra. thing. Extra sweet tea? That has to be a Southern thing because I've never seen that. I didn't even know that existed. Swing him in, swing him right to him. Nice. Woo! Oh, just came off. There you go. Live action. I'll take care of them for you. <laughs> I don't see any All right, that's fine. Guys, look at that. Sweet. One thing about fish in the ocean. Get all these little water. Want to water? Oh, hey, we're hooked up again here. As soon as Parker sat. You know, the, yeah, it's never just like when you're paying attention that they buy. It's like, I think I'll sit down now, relax. Nice. Man, these are some solid specs right here. Woo. Wow. <laughs> you just got fish slapped. <laughs> Sweet. But, uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous fish. Guys, I love trout fishing, but I'm telling you right now, like rainbow trout fishing, but this is fun right here. There we go. Oh, oh, I have to literally. I'm one now too. I literally have to think it through. I'm gonna wait. You're gonna wait. I, I literally have to think every single time. Okay, don't set the hook too hard. Yeah. Yes. Way out there. That might be my personal best right there. Sweet. Yes, look at that guys. That's probably good eight. I want to measure that just for kicks. Well, right at 18 or so, maybe just slightly less than 18 inches. Oh, we got something. Is this something different? That'd be cool to film some state record or something. That's actually kind of a little fantasy that I have that GoPros are on when somebody catches some sort of state record or something. What do we got? By the way, this 
sweet tea is great. If Gold Peak wants to sponsor my channel, I would be, I would love that. Whoa, 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 this is cool. What is it? Jack. Now in Hawaii, jacks are a valued fish. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's something different. Maybe they don't call the same thing. Oh, well, that's cool. This is actually a small one here. We're gonna keep them for bait. Sure. Keep them for bait. Okay, so you, y'all, are seem pretty disappointed by this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is it a trash fish? Pretty much. Oh, that's cool. Well, or maybe not. I'm excited. Nice. Okay. So it's a big pull on a look, trout listen, rod. You hear his crunchers? Uh huh. So so this is really a tra trash fish to you guys? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's crazy. Huh? They, they catch crabs and they got in the back of their throat. They got these crunchers and they crunch it. Oh, okay. The grunting. So in Hawaii they have they have a similar one. It, it doesn't look like that. In fact, they have real pretty blue fins. Yeah. They're probably the same family, and they're called they call them ulua. The locals do, and they're very desirable. They're the most desirable fish on the island, actually. So. Fantastic first boat set with the old speckled trout. I'm kind of addicted right now. We're gonna now go that oil rig out here. Head out and fish an oil rig. Wow! Pretty cool. That is cool. I have never seen anything like this. The big old Gulf oil rig there, folks. That is impressive. You know, unfortunately, sometimes GoPros distort proportion, but if you can get an idea of like how massive this thing is, this is so cool. What an unbelievable like piece of machinery. Like how do these, I want to know the process for sticking these things on the bottom of the ocean. Oh my gosh, guys, they're hauling a dumpster up on their oil rig. So guys must work like 30 days on, 30 days off, one of those kind of deals, I'm guessing. I have some friends who do that. They don't work on rigs, but they're like in the oil fields. Yeah. Guys, if you can imagine the fishing that there's to be had under these. Woo. Guys, already Parker's hooked up here. Oh, it's jumping like crazy. Says the ladyfish. Well, this is a cool fighting fish. Woo! That is cool. Are they good to eat? No. No? Keep it real messy. Oh, okay. Keep it from bait. Keep it from bait. Oh, Catch us on the bait for tomorrow. Okay. That is cool. You ready for some live action? Live action for show. Use as bait. I want to see what we catch on that. All right, guys. Look. Hooked up here. Is it? Oh, you're just freelining yeah, it. Yeah. So oh, that's basically, cool. what you want this uh, this trophy to do? Uh huh. Cast it for you. And show you where you want to throw it. Okay. Next time, right up next to the rig. Yeah. Give them a little spot. Swim up in the rig. Okay. And just nab it. All right. Don't reel. Don't reel. Just wait till the line starts straightening out. All right. If you guys are new to fishing, it's called free lining. There's no no sinker, no anything. You just put the, a live fish on a hook, and the fish swims around. And you wait for a big fish just to find him as he's swimming around. So I'm letting more line out in this case, guys, so we get that fish can just keep swimming wherever he's going. He'll eventually run into. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah, the drag's pretty good, for it. Yeah. Tighten it up a little bit. Yep. Got him. Whoa, whoa, we got something good on here. Hang on tight. Walk, walk back here. Walk back here? Yeah. Walk he's gonna, back. Try, he's gonna try to get in the oil rig, guys, so we gotta walk him back. Try to reel. Look at him out the rig. Oh. Oh. Shoot. Dang it. Guys, it's so easy for a fish to break line on those barnacles and stuff right there. So I should have had the drag set stronger. All right, guys, so here it is again. We just cast it right up against the rig without some line. Hey, why don't you reel up? We're going to go to another rig. You ought to be catching something. Yeah. 
about Woo! <laughs> guys man thank you sir look at that dude that is fantastic guys look at that you know what we do with those a lot of times what smoke them smoke them that is cool okay <laughs> Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, you want to get in there for a picture? It's 27. Right at 27. Does that count as a bull red? That's at 27. It's 27. Like, 27. It's no more, no less. It's like right there. I mean, it seems monster to me, but uh, that's because I'm new. No, monster don't fit in this ice chest. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Parker's hooked up on something here. Whoa, swinging them in. Flying ladyfish. Woo. Bait right there. That is a wild fish right there. Oh, oh, hey, yeah. Jumped out. Oh, it's your first big rib. Uh-huh. Forty-five, fifty feet, guys. What's crazy to me is we're way offshore, but it's still only forty-five to fifty feet. That's a goal for you. I'm used to, you know, Hawaii standards. You got just a mile or whatever, and you are in some deep water there. Tomorrow we'll be in about three hundred feet of water. Okay, we're going way offshore then. Sweet. That tide's ripping right here, Dad. That's all right. Back in action here, folks. A lively little morsel. That's, perfect. That's the cast right there Don't we've been getting. Don't let any more line out. So the mangrove snapper just mean must be suspended right in this zone here. See that little fish and come out for it? There we go, there was a tap. Tapped it but didn't straighten it up. Right, walk to the back. Come got on, him, come on, come on. got him, Stay on it, stay on it, stay on it. Stay on it, there you go. Stay yes. On it. Might be a short. Nah. Big man there. This is cool. This is cool. There you go, just stay on it. Woo! Get him out of there. It's a shark. It's a shark. Shark or big rib? Oh, it is a shark. Oh, nice. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he's, he's twisted in the line. Whoa. Maybe not. Black tip. Inside the boat. Hey, if he wants to jump in here. Oh, guys, look at that. It's my third. Hold on tight. Second shark ever. Uh, sir, second shark in Louisiana. Third shark ever. Oh, yeah. That is sweet. Oh, he snapped. Oh, sorry. Oh, Woo! Well, that was cool. I thought you had your big old man uh, <laughs> All right, folks, I'm back at it. We're just taking turns. The bait's running low. And, uh. Back here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Keep going. Go, don't stop. Back. Don't Keep stop. Going. Keep going. Right now. Pump and grind. Oh, I think he snagged. Yeah, he snagged, I think. I'll keep. Whatever it is, I think he got me snagged. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was so fast. It's my kind of fishing. Oh, guys, we have four left or something? Oh, no, we got more than that. Oh, I didn't see him in the corner. That guy just. Everybody hits a rig one time. Oh. Well, 
Like kind of like everybody puts a mullet in a bucket and then drives down the, <laughs> down the beach. Parker's hooked up on the bottom. Bottom rig. Getting it done. Hey, baby little baby red snapper. That is cool. First time I've ever seen one of these in the flesh, though. Beautiful little fish. Did you sit short right behind? No, I didn't. Right on his tail. Hey, maybe the GoPro picked it up. So the sharks follow him. That's just common. Pull up red snapper and the sharks follow him. That is a gorgeous little fish right there. How big does it? Whoa. How big does it have to be to keep? They gotta be 16 inches. 16 inches? I mean, that's cool though. Little fish, little Jimmy Houston fish kids. Might be a little big, but got him. Really up fast. You guys, we gotta reel it fast because we don't want a shark to eat it on the way up. Oh, mangrove, get in the boat. Mangrove? Woo! Mangrove, keep it. My first mangrove snapper. Cool. Look at them teeth right there. Nice. Are you ready to bite? That is cool. <laughs> Look, guys, check this out. We are just filling up the cooler. That is awesome. This is fantastic. This is so much fun. There's another crab over there. Crabs, th guys, crabs literally, blue crabs swim along the surface. I do not, that is weird to me. I did not know you just have a crab going like a little top water across the surface. If one comes close to the boat, I'll show y'all. Last piece of bait, guys. Yeah, got it. No. Oh, he's biting. Got him. On the last piece of bait, guys, we hooked up. Ooh, 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 yeah. Nice. Might want to get the net. Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's my job. Here we go. Net man here. Net man, Might folks. Keep her snapper. Oh, red snapper. Dude, nice. They gotta be how many? Twelve. Twelve. Look, a shark got him on the way up. He had a close 16. encounter. They gotta be 16 inches. Gotta be 16. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous right there. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of that mouth. Sweet. Get bigger. <laughs> Don't die on the way down. Right, guys we got something some funny situation up here there are people in the water in the middle of this uh of this marina looks like they're about to pull something out what is it a boat and a trailer, a boat and a trailer in the water oh there he is it's like a little flat bottom like gator boat a gator tail boat metal boat fortunately there's a lot of good green slime right on the uh, right on the ramp here so it can slide up somewhat easier oh 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 the cable broke all right guys we are back at the camp I passed most of the really, really hot Louisiana afternoon in the air-conditioned RV. Took a little rest. That was a uh, super fun morning. But uh, as it starts to get in the afternoon, man, folks, it gets hot here in July. Brutally hot. But now it's getting evening time, and we're gonna do a little cooking up of some fish. Really excited to do this because first time trying speckled trout, mangrove snapper, everything. I'm just gonna put the GoPro on and. I'm just gonna see what they're gonna do. We're gonna cook this up Louisiana style. I'm excited to see what happens. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna follow along here with whatever's going on. Louisiana style fish fry. Guys, we're underneath the house. So like when I first got here, this actually surprised me. Um, all the house were, houses were on stilts because this island's so low that, and the beach is right over there, that when hurricanes or just storms come, this whole place floods. Like there will be two, three, four feet of water. And so all the places are on stilts across this whole island, almost every, almost every building. You can even see down there, all of them, 
on stilts. So that's just kind of interesting. We are in a flood zone here. So we're hanging out kind of underneath the house. It's a little party under here. Here's all our fish. Oh, almost threw the fish over the side. Looks like we're gonna fry up some fresh cut French fries as well. Oh, hush puppy mix as well. And never had this before. This is a day of so many firsts right here. We have some little uh, pickled jalapeno peppers. We're gonna deep fry jalapeno peppers. I've had fried pickles and that kind of stuff, but never just straight up jalapeno peppers. Is that like a Louisiana delicacy or something around here? Absolutely. I've, I've never heard of that before. That's going to be cool. I love jalapenos. All right, Mr. Mike has the jalapenos out. Now, this is a pretty cool little device right here, folks. A little breader right there. Put whatever you want in the top. It's got flour on the bottom. My guess is we're going to put this lid on and shake it up. Turn it upside down, give it a little shake right there. I like that. Shake it back the other direction. Louisiana folks love their fried food. If you guys are new to this series, so I've had so much good fried food this trip. It has been ridiculous. Mm. All right, guys, so Mr. Mike said he puts his fish in ice to make it nice and cold so it cooks better that way. I am excited to try some fresh speckled trout. I mean, the, the, the clean white meat on that mm. and there's the finished product right there folks let's give one of these a little taste test mm. Mm. had some of those just regular just raw and they were good but you put a little a little fry on those mm. you guys will definitely see this in a future video fried on the Mm. Oh, like a little fry sauce or a little uh, ranch to me. And then, folks, we have a little French fry action going on here. Fresh cut French fries reminds me of reminds me of my days at Chick Fil A. Stirring this thing. This fries just about done. Mmm. Salt them immediately. Miss Cal, what you like, fry? Would you like wowie sauce or ketchup or what what sauce do you want with it? Sauce. You didn't grab me no sauce? Now it's time for some hush puppies, folks. Let's go. Mmm. Anything special in this mix or what kind of mix is it? Uh, just hush puppy mix and cream corn. And cream corn. Oh man folks, look at that turning golden brown already. Guys, we're gonna batter up a few fish fillets here. Just drop them. I really like this little frying device here. Put the lid on and give it a little shake, folks. Oh yeah, look at that, folks. All right, guys, a little breaded fish action here. Gonna drop them all right in there. We got a couple leftover jalapenos in there too, folks. And we're gonna throw that. Oh yeah, hey there, okay. There you go, sweet. I really like this little fryer here. We got, guys, fries and fresh fish. Give them a little shake so they don't stick together. All right, folks, and then Mr. Uh, Mike dropped in some hush puppies there as well. We got, guys, we got every good Louisiana thing you can think of going on here. Maybe except the fried pickles, but we got every, every other good Louisiana thing going. I really appreciate this, sir. This is fun. Guys, my first time trying speckled trout. Parker, cheers. cheers. That's as, as me and my brothers always used to do. Cheers when you were younger. Here's to you. Good. That's all right right there. Mm. Very tender, soft. Very. Mm. Mm. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Fresh fish this day. Thanks, man. Wow. This has been fantastic out here, guys. <laughs> well, guys, this has been a memorable day for me. Parker, Mr. Mike, I know this is just a lifestyle for you guys. This is, it's just lifestyle, but this has been a once in a lifetime experience for me the whole day from the fishing early this morning to eating a full Louisiana meal here. This is so much fun. Thank you so much for everything. Glad to have you. But, so, you know, I'm just moved down to Louisiana. I'll just state that right now. Let's move down to Louisiana. I'm just gonna make all my videos from here on out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll put some more videos on the side there if you guys wanna check those out from the Louisiana 2 series. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.